Hey, it's Albert Orange, and welcome to the Bell the Before podcast, episode 48. It's the show where I talk about so many things. I talk about anything and everything, so I hope that you enjoy this episode. Uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy all the things that I'm about to talk about, which are so many. There's so many things. So many things and so little time. Okay? I could talk about, you know, um, neurology, at least what I know of it. I, I could talk about, uh, is neurology even a thing? I think I'm thinking of neuroscience. But neurology... I don't I don't think it sounds real but what I was really thinking of was the study of the brain and stuff, you know? That's neuroscience. <clears throat> Science. That's I don't know why my voice choked there. Um neurology. No, that that's a thing, neurology. I don't know. I can't really look it up because I got I got these gloves. Um, which impede me from using uh, any touch screens or um, any any um, you know uh, track pads on laptops, which move the mouse around. You know. Um, anyways, as I was saying, uh, I hope you enjoy uh, all the things that I'm about to talk about, including the. Uh, the 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 Jets game against the Jaguars, which leads me into this new sports segment. That of course is always introduced with, uh, opened with I should say, the the uh, Bell the Before podcast sports theme, uh, played on the Yamaha. DGX 670 B piano. You guys ready? Here it is. Here it is. I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. I'm I'm terribly sorry. He, here it is again. Okay. I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. I played the wrong note. I'm sorry. Here it is. Okay. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that piece. Um, again, terribly sorry about the uh, mistake there. Um, the first time around, I, you know, I I practice all the time on this, and you know, um, I I guess mistakes happen. Um, of course, I I could leave that out, but um, this is this is an uncut podcast that's what i want it to be i want this to be an uncut podcast all my mistakes laid bare for you all to listen to that's that's what this podcast is all my verbal miscues gaffes uh mispronunciations stammers um you know Everything, just everything, all my errors, because that's that's how you be, um, that's how you maintain your integrity, that's how you maintain your honesty with the people, okay? And I think that's very important, so I'm sorry for that mistake, but guess what? I, I don't apologize for it, so there you go. Um, anyways... This is the sports segment of the Belt of Before podcast. Um, let me take off my glove, actually, because I actually need to um, go to the page on the Safari app on my computer 
where I've got the, the game scores on and I need to, to use my actual fingers to do this. So uh, let me hit refresh here. Uh, let me hit refresh. It's refreshing. Okay. Uh, 16 to 3, Jacksonville. Okay. Against the New York Jets. The New York Jets are getting beat by Jacksonville. Uh, uh, four minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter. What a surprise. I didn't know this. I, would, I didn't expect to see this happening, but then again, I don't know anything about football, so any opinions that I have are almost completely wrong. But uh, 16 to 3, that's, um, that's, you know, it's not the best, uh, most exciting score I've seen, but then again, you know, it's on Amazon, so I guess, I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not fine that Amazon has Thursday night football, but, you know, what can you do? Um, anyways, we've got, uh, we've got the Jaguars and the Jets, you know, uh, the Jets are seven and seven, the Jacksonville Jaguars are six and eight. So, um, by the end of this, if, if things keep going at the, at the rate that they're going, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars might move up to seven and eight and, uh, the New York Jets might end this game with uh an, another 7 and 8 so that's that's interesting that's interesting um for those of you who don't know what I what the hell I'm talking about uh when I say that the New York Jets are 7 and 7 right now it means that they won 7 games and lost 7 games in the regular season of uh the 2022 NFL season, okay? That's what I mean. That's that's what those numbers mean at the bottom of the team's name, all right? 7 and 7, 6 and 8. That's what it is, okay? So, um yeah, that's that's interesting. I'm not watching the game because, you know, I I don't have a good internet connection to my Wi-Fi, um, because my Wi-Fi is in my house, and I'm recording in my garage, all right, and, uh, you, you might be able to hear the, the noisy road beside my garage, you know, you can probably hear a few cars, you know, uh, driving about, that's, that's part of the background, that was a staple of this podcast, I don't really notice it too much when I'm when I'm editing this podcast anymore, but you know, it's uh, it's it's still there. I think if you listen very closely, yeah, there was a car that uh, that just that just drove by just there. So that's uh, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but there it is. If you want to hear it, anyways, um, I guess not much to talk about uh, about sports. This week, or this, for this episode at least, you know, it's Thursday, and uh, this is obviously the first game of week 16, I believe, so, you know, uh, the season is coming to a close, yes, that's, that's crazy, um, week 16, that's, that's insane, um, you know, we've already got the playoff pictures. Actually, I, I did. <laughs> um, there, there turns out to be a lot of stuff to to talk about sports this time around because we are uh, inching closer and closer to the playoffs. So, let's look at the standings. All right, at the playoff pictures. Okay. Um, actually, let me get a better looking playoff picture because the one that Google gives is not not exactly the best at least not the one that I want I want the one with the brackets you know or at least with the the one that that has the the x's and y's next to next to the teams that have made it you know what I mean 
And I got a really, really interesting ad on the ESPN site. It says, butt lifting jeans are back. Mid-rise butt lifting skinny jeans teal. $49.99. That's that's $49.99 to be specific. Um I don't I don't really um look up any jeans on my computer, especially not jeans made especially for um for a women uh, who want to accentuate their uh, their rear ends, you know? So I don't know why I'm getting this ad. I don't I don't really um I don't really uh I don't know. I don't know. That that's that's an interesting thing cuz like right now I have a giant ass on my computer screen. So like if if anybody walks into this garage and they see this, you know, can you just imagine what that might look like you know what i mean because like i'm on the espn site with the nfl standings right now but like nobody's gonna see that you know nobody's gonna you know that they're just letters they're just tiny letters at the end of the day but like if you walked in right now and saw my computer screen you would see you know, an ass, a woman's ass on the screen. Who who even knows if that's a woman? You know what I mean? It certainly looks like a woman's ass. And I certainly want it to be. But I don't fucking know. Oh my God, what if it's a guy's ass? Hold on, hold on. I, I know this isn't exactly political politically correct and I know that, that that this doesn't have to do with sports at all and I promise I will get to the playoffs here to talking about those um, in a second but but look okay I don't know how many people might agree with me on this but if if this ad right now that I'm getting with with what's supposed to be, you know, a woman's ass with with uh, you know, a pair of jeans on top of it. If that's what it's supposed to be, but in reality, it's just it's just a, you know, a guy's ass. You know, who likes dressing up as a woman, no no judgment, okay? But if it's a guy's ass, I would like to know that. I'd really like to know that. You know what I mean? Like, because this, this, this is clearly targeted at women, right? But if it's a guy dressing up as a woman, I don't know. I don't. That's a different thing. I guess it would be okay with if it was a transgender woman. You know, a, a woman turned uh, or or a man turned woman i guess but and again i don't mean to offend anybody but that that makes me a little uneasy because that if if this ass that i'm looking at right now is 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 the ass of a man turned into a woman I just, I have mixed feelings about that. You know what I mean? And again, I don't mean to uh, offend anybody. But as somebody who grew up with with uh, society telling me that there are only two genders. All right, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is amazing. I got interrupted by my mother yet again for the third time in a row, you know, it's just, it's, 
there's no there's no privacy that you, that you can get in this world. You know what I mean? But it's okay. Um, I'm only angry because this this might cause you to be angry. But then again, it's not like you're listening to the um just boring conversation that I had just had with my mother. But you know. Anyways, let's just move on from that. Pretend that this didn't happen, even though I could, you know, cut this out. Anyways, look, as I was saying, what the hell was I saying? God damn it. Um, I guess, I guess I'm, I'm talking about, um, the fact that if, if this, if that ass were a man's, in re- in reality if that ass was a man turned into a woman you know i would uh i i would feel uneasy about it i if i'm being completely honest i'm fe- i would feel uneasy and i don't believe that that makes me transphobic or sexist I mean maybe maybe this whole tangent that I'm going on is inherently sexist or misogynistic I don't look I'm just I'm just having a conversation here with myself but look that that wouldn't exactly make me feel good and if this type of thing were to happen a lot more in the future and let's face it this will happen at some point at some point there's going to be a, a a hot attractive woman that guys see on the television you know or in some sort of video and they'll all think they will all think those poor bastards will all think that that is the most gorgeous woman that they have ever seen and you know they want to they want to do terrible things to her you know unspeakable things and then unbeknownst to them and they might never find out whether or not they find out you know it won't change the fact that that woman that you know they find to be attractive might have been a guy at some point she might have been a guy. And if I were one of those guys admiring her, you know, I, I would just, I would feel disappointed. I, I really would feel disappointed. You know? Because I feel, and look, maybe maybe this might sound a little transphobic. I want to say I want to preface this by saying that I don't hate trans people. I don't think that what they're doing is necessarily wrong. It is America. It is a free country as long as you're not you know causing harm to anybody else, at least not physical harm to anybody else, you know. Um I you know, as long as you're not doing that then I guess you're fine, but, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, I just, um, now I'm, now I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now, um, look, you know, whether or not this ass that appeared on my computer screen is a woman's or a guy turn into a woman you know uh it's still you know nice to look at but you know i would i would just feel a lot better if if this was a woman's you know that's all i'm saying i would feel a lot better If this were, you know, a woman's ass who was always a woman. 
you know, born a woman. This was a guy's ass, you know? Um, or, you know, a transgender woman's ass. Again, it's still nice to look at, but now when you apply that filter on it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know? I don't know. Um, I, I guess I would feel a little disappointed. And again, I don't hate trans people. I don't hate them. Okay? Um, I don't want to kill them or cause them any mental distress, you know? But coming from a straight guy, okay, and yes, I am a man, in case you couldn't tell from my voice, um, you know, it's just, I, I just, I, I worry for the future. That's all I'm saying. I worry that I might see a, a very gorgeous woman and, you know, it, it'll turn out that she was once a guy and, you know, I just, I don't know if I could, uh, if I could live with that. That's all I'm saying. I don't mean to be hate, hateful towards transgender people, but, you know, again, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just complicated, and I'd rather stick to simple, you know, you know, just, just simple, uh, you know, norms, I guess, where, where you, you get with the, with a woman who was always a woman, and, uh, you know, you, you have your way with her, you do unspeakable things to her, maybe leave her a little scarred, and that's it, there's no, there's no messiness to it, you know, that, that's simple. But obviously, you know, times are a-changing. And we can't really stop that, so... I guess, um... Ah, fuck it. Maybe, maybe it's better to be celibate. I don't know. Anyways. Um... I really hope that didn't offend anybody. I mean, well... You know, I I really do, but it's like, anyways, you know, maybe maybe I should cut all of this out. Actually, maybe I really should. But you know, I've I've been ranting about this, not even ranting, but you know, I've been talking about this for, you know, ten minutes. So let's just let's just move on towards to you know this, the NFL playoffs. All right. I really hope I didn't offend anybody, but you know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, causing a, you know, bringing up a, a dialogue here, okay? If you have any, anything to say about it, go ahead, comment below, leave me a voice message on anchor.fm slash Albert Orange, you know? Go to my YouTube handle. It's Albert Orange. Actually, it's Albert underscore Orange underscore 007. Leave a comment. All right. Anyways. But, the, but you know, don't be a dick about it. You know, don't be a, a dick or, you know, a C word about it. Depending on your gender of course don't be an asshole that's that's what i'm saying okay don't be an asshole comment what do you think you know would you uh if if you were a a straight male like myself and once again i i would like to confirm that i am a male would you uh would you get together with uh 
with a female who used to be a guy. Would that bother you? It would certainly bother me. But I don't hate trans people. I don't. But I would I would really I don't know, you if I had a if I had a wife, you know. But she used to be a guy. I would uh I would say, you know, our marriage had a good run and it's you know three day run. It's been fun, I guess. Let's let's end it. You know? Anyways, how do I dig myself out of this hole? <laughs> I'm going to get canceled so hard. I really I really don't wish any harm towards trans people. And if that makes me transphobic, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to t- I'm not attracted to guys. And if and if there's a woman who used to be a guy, I don't know if, I, I don't know. I don't really fo- feel comfortable with, with, you know, tapping that A. You know what I mean? I'd feel weird about it. But no hate towards trans people, as I said a, a million times here. Okay, let's, let's just... Let's all take a breather here, okay? Let's take a deep breath and um, just continue as if this never happened. And we'll just put this behind us. We'll talk about the playoffs here, the playoff picture for the NFL. We'll talk about literally anything else we we won't bring up any genders or you know asses or genes okay no more of that no genders no genes no butts only football all right so let's let's talk about it all right NFL standings 2022. Let's hold on. Let, let me close this ad real quickly, okay? Uh <laughs> There we go. All right, I closed it. Um I feel like I need to you know, keep on saying that I don't hate trans people. I don't hate trans people all throughout this podcast because wow, I I really dug myself a hole there. That's what it felt like. Um, I I don't hate trans people. I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. But, you know, I'm also not necessarily sexually attracted to them. Okay? NFL standings 2022. Buffalo Bills. In the AFC East, they got the... Uh, they got the the uh, the clinched playoff berth, I think, is that what the X means? Hold on, let me let me see here. Um, uh, yeah, they they clinched the playoff berth. They're the only in the only one in the uh, in the AFC East to do so. Um, actually, in the in the entire AFC to do so. Um, the only team that's been eliminated has been the Houston Texans, the one and twelve, the one twelve and one Houston Texans. They tied one game, um, and uh, the uh, the Chiefs got their division. They clinched it. The AFC West, the Denver Broncos, are unfortunately eliminated from the playoffs. Russell Wilson just couldn't. I don't know. They they just they just couldn't click together I guess and you know that's too bad um, I really wanted Russell to win to win the season I didn't care if 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 he won the next ten Super Bowls from now as long as we just beat him that first game you know 
as long as we did that and every other game against the Broncos, you know, as long as we beat them, I don't care how well Russell does, you know, Um, because I do like Russ. I do like Russ. There's a lot of backlash against Russ right now, but I think he's great. I think he's always been great. And um, I don't know. I guess I guess this is just a, a rocky season for him. You know, it happens to uh, it happens to all of us. You know, it happens to literally everybody. So maybe that's it. You know, and we'll just have to wait till next year. So uh, in the NFC, let's see. The NFC, the the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys are going to appear in the playoffs. They clinched the uh, you know, the birth the the births, okay? Um the uh, Minnesota Vikings, they're you know, they they clinched the the NFC North. The Bears are eliminated. Uh Tampa Bay is at the top of the NFC South. Um and uh the red team is at the top of the NFC West. You can figure out who that is. And um the Seahawks are the only ones in that division to not be eliminated. And to also not appear in the playoffs so far. You know, so um I mean unless they can, you know, pull off a miraculous thing here and uh you know the the red team can can you know go on a losing streak from now on then we'll be tied but i don't know you know all of the playoff rules and qualifications there so i don't know if we'll be able to to do anything there but you know it's I guess it's on the table, you know. The Seahawks are not officially eliminated. So, you know, there is that. So, I guess there's still hope, but also let's... Who's kidding who? Who's kidding who? I want I want them to, to do well these next three games, but also, you know, we're, we're playing the Chiefs. Um, Saturday, Christmas Eve. <sighs> We're playing the Chiefs, and uh, then after that, the Jets. Then after that, the Rams. So, I don't know about the Chiefs or the Rams or or the Jets, but we might beat the Rams because uh, the Rams. Have not, uh, well, hold on. Let me, can I look at the, the Rams? They're all, they lost the last game against the, against the, against, against the, the Packers? Yeah. Yeah. Against the Packers. Yes. When was that game? Oh, I um, uh, yeah, I, I I checked that game out uh, on uh on Monday. Yeah, that was Monday Night Football, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, I I don't know. I haven't watched that game. I haven't watched the highlights, but apparently M- Baker Mayfield just. You know, doesn't really do well after after signing with the team or something. You know, after sticking with them for like more than a week, he's a big hit. He's a huge hit the first time around, but after that, is you know, whatever. That that's what that's what I uh, understood according to the memes, I guess. But um. I know that's not at all an accurate representation of 
what's really going on, but hey, who knows? Who knows? Um, anyways, the, the Packers are unfortunately not going to the playoffs because, uh, you know, they just, they, they're not, they're not going to show up, you know, that's, I mean, they're not eliminated officially, but I mean, come on, like, they're not, they're not doing too hot. The, the Lions are doing better than them. The Lions, the Detroit Lions. They're seven and seven. Okay. That's crazy. So, you know, I don't know. It's it's a weird year, you know. Everybody who we thought was going to do well, you know, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, um, Matthew Stafford, they're either not playing or just not doing well. I mean Tom Brady and the and and uh, his his uh, TBBs okay TB and the TBBs uh you know they're they're at the top of the NFC South but you know that division as a whole is not doing so well you know they're not doing too hot you know they're currently they they currently have a losing record which is not good you don't want to see that but you know I don't know. It's uh it's been an interesting year to see. But uh all right, you know. We got this new wave of of players and quarterbacks that we'll be seeing for years to come and Yeah, you know, Paul Verzi from the uh Anything Better podcast, you know. Uh I think he said it best. He said um uh, that the pillars he and he said this a long time ago he said um he said that the pillars of the NFL that were once standing they're they're finally starting to see their cracks you know and now we're we're just slowly transitioning into this new era of football you know the, the old 2010s of football you know that those good old you know Drew Brees uh, ben Roethlisberger years, you know, um, that's that's slowly fading away. It's just slowly, you know. Um, yeah, that's 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 a shame to see, but you know, oh well, it was there, and those who got to experience it, you know, it was good for them. But now it's. You know, I guess it's uh it's just time. It's time to to embrace the new the new guys. You know, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, um, who else? Baker Mayfield, I guess. <laughs> um, you know? Cooper Cup. Can't wait to see more of that guy when he plays again, of course. Um, anyways, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the NFL, uh, situation over here, okay? So, uh, just to recap, we got the Bills and the, and the Eagles and the Cowboys, all officially going to the... I'm getting the ad again. <laughs> this is... Should I go on another 10-minute tangent about uh, about how I don't uh, find myself sexually attracted to transgender people? Let's do it. Why not? Um, the Bills and the... Uh, there you go. That's how you break the tension. The Bills, the Eagles, and the Cowboys are all going to the playoffs officially. And... Um, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting. The the Eagles are 13 and 1. 13 and 1. The highest record in the NFL so far. Um so that's that's going to be really exciting. The the Eagles you know, like 
the Eagles. Um, I would love to see. I would love to see the Eagles destroy the Niners. I'm sorry, the red team. I would love to see them destroy them. Just absolutely just getting after them, you know? I would love to see that. I don't know if that'll actually happen. Again, I don't know all about how the playoffs work. But it's it's supposed to be the best 14 teams battling it out. For Super Bowl 57. You know? I would love to see that. Um, I'd love to see the Eagles and the Cowboys, of course. Um, what about the what about in the AFC? Um, I'd love to see a rematch between the Bills and the Chiefs. I'd love to see that. At least I think it's a rematch. I think the Bills lost to, the, to Kansas City last year, didn't they? I'm pretty sure that they did. Hold on, let me look it up. Because if I'm recalling correctly, then that game was outstanding. It was outstanding. It was one of the, you know, it was part of the, you know, the craziest playoffs I've ever seen. You know? Let's see here. Uh I'm going I'm I'm looking back to last year. Can I can I not see the hold on. Um Okay, I can't I can't see the games from last year on Google, but I'm pretty sure that the Bills played the Chiefs and lost to them in the playoffs. I think it was in the divisional round. So I would love to see a rematch of that. Josh Allen against Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Love to see that. I'd love to see that. And I want them to win. If I was if I was old enough to legally bet in the state where I'm currently at I would absolutely I would absolutely gamble on that game and um you know that's 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 what I would do you know I'd probably lose because that's just that's just how things usually turn up for me um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm fine at this point with losing sometimes, you know, sometimes. Um, so I'd probably, I'd probably bet like maybe, maybe like 10 bucks on that game. I would say 10 or, or $5, but you know, it's, it's a, it would be a playoffs game, you know, and if, if, if it goes all the way to the divisional round, if the if the Chiefs and the Bills play in the divisional round, I would absolutely bet ten dollars on that game. That the B that the that the Buffalo Bills would win. I would absolutely do that. Is this illegal? Is this is it illegal to discuss how I would bet? No, it 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 can't be illegal. It can't be illegal to do this. It would probably be illegal to like, you know, to like murder somebody right here and right now, even though there's nobody here, you know, like if I called my, well, let's not, let's not name anybody here. Like if I, if I, uh, I don't know, got the neighbor, got the next door neighbor and, uh, you know, let him here into the garage and just proceeded to just pummel him with uh you know with the very microphone that I'm speaking into you know and 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 have the microphone record you know the hits and the screams and you know the struggle that would be illegal that would if if not illegal it would certainly be disconcerting and you know then nobody would listen. I at least that's the hope. But you know, 
talking about how you would bet on a football game. That can't be illegal. Anyways. What what a hell of a podcast here. <laughs> oh my god. I talk about how I wouldn't uh hit any uh transgender ass. And uh I also talk about football and murder. You see what I mean? You see you see how we just we talk about anything and everything on this thing, you know? Jesus Christ, I, I got the ad again. And this time, the picture is bigger. Am I crazy or... Yeah, th- this time the, the picture is way bigger. Oh my god. Um, I don't know if I allow cookies. I, I failed to, to mention this. When, when this first happened, but um, I don't know if, if my computer is set to allow cookies or, you know, trackers, whatever they're called. Um, I think they might, that might not be the case. Um, because I never, ever search anything related to genes on my computer. And um, if it's if it's something for my phone, then I, I also doubt that because um, whenever, uh, you know, an app asks me to allow it to track my, you know, history or whatever, I always decline that. Okay, I don't want, you know, plants versus zombies to, you know, track my, you know, my browser thing history whatever you know i always hit decline um actually you you can't decline that you have to it only gives you the option to um accept or ask app not to track you you know there's it's not decline it's ask app not to track so I think that probably means that they're still tracking you somehow. Anyways, let's, um, let's, let's just, let's just end this sports segment, which, you know, half of it was about sports, but, you know, let's just end it by playing the theme again. Here it is. Here it is. Oh. Segments with Albert Orange on the Bell of the Before podcast with yours truly, Albert Orange. All right, yeah, I, I, I did write lyrics for that. Yeah, yeah, that good question that nobody asked. How are you? How are you this fine, fine day, evening, night, whenever you're listening to this? I'm, uh, I'm very, um, layered up here, you know? I don't know how, uh, how cold it is in, inside this garage now. Uh, <clears throat> oh my god, did you hear that voice crack there? Um, apparently on my computer, it, it's seven degrees now. It's seven degrees. It's, uh, it, it's currently eight o'clock right now and it's seven degrees outside. So I, I'd, I'd imagine that this garage is, you know, at least a few degrees higher than that, but I don't know. It still feels very cold. I'm going to put my glove back on my hand on my coarse, dry hand. Um, yeah, we're right in the thick of of the winter winter season. Recording right after the winter solstice, man. Um, it's been a bit of a of a chaotic morning today at my house. 
uh, the uh, the the water stopped working because the pipes froze. You know, um, at least that that's the impression that I got. I didn't really, you know, go down there myself and check out the pipes. My dad did. Um, but no, I'm pretty sure that the pipe that the pipes froze, but um, we we got that sorted out later, you know. But I actually I didn't brush my teeth this morning. I couldn't because there was no running water, and I'm not just gonna put toothpaste on a dry ass toothbrush, you know. It's not gonna happen, Mister. That's just that's just gross. Why would you do that to yourself? You know. So, I didn't brush my teeth this morning, but I did do mouthwash, which, you know, if your teeth are already, you know, relatively clean, you know, if if you brushed your teeth the night before and you only use mouthwash in the morning, you know, I I'd say uh I'd say 80% of the time you'd probably get away with it. You know? Top that with chewing some gum. That probably bumps it up to 90%. You know? I'd imagine if you have a spouse, you know, they'd probably tell you different, but I don't. Thankfully, fortunately, you know? So, yeah. um, So, thankfully, uh, that, that all got sorted out. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that was this morning today, you know? So, anyways, yeah, it it was, it was a little, it was a little, um, you know, uh, weird not having running water because, you know, first of all, you couldn't, you couldn't wash your hands. Second of all, as I mentioned, you can't, you know, brush your teeth, you know, even though you technically can, but it just, to me, it doesn't feel good. Like, I need water. When I wake up, I feel gross. My mouth feels gross. My whole, my whole being, just in general, feels gross whenever I wake up, okay? Okay genitalia that sort of thing um and i just i don't feel good when i wake up okay so that's why i need water i need water to you know from time to time wash my face wash my mouth my hands you know and of course genitalia you know asshole included uh, sometimes, so from time to time, I said. Um, and I just I need water to feel clean in the morning, and I you know that's that's just, it's it's hard not to feel gross. If you don't do all those things, you know, so it it was definitely a, a bit of a mental, uh, you know, hurdle to jump over. But uh, you know. I I made it work. I guess uh, we have uh, we have water that we buy from Costco. Those you know, you know, big packs of uh, plastic water bottles that are providing people with water and the earth with more and more trash. You know, those things from Costco. So we use those to you know, um, you know, wash our hands. Um, and there came a time where I, I, I really needed to, to, you know, um, do, uh, do number one in the bathroom, but, uh, I didn't want to just do it in the toilet and then not flush it because that's what, that's what my mother told me. Um, if that, if I were to go to the bathroom, I needed to just, do the business in the toilet, but not flush it, which is, you know, that's just gross, you know? So I ended up just, you know, 
peeing inside of a water bottle and, you know, just dumping it out afterwards. And uh, I never did that before. I never peed inside of a water bottle. And, um, you know, it was a clear plastic water bottle. And when I looked at it afterwards... It was, it was not the color that I was expecting, but, you know, it, it looked like uh, something that you would see in a, you know, in a, in a science lab, you know, in, in like a generic science lab. Like if, 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 uh, if you went through that footage of Bill Nye walking around in that, you know, science lab set and you just identify any yellow liquid in there that's that would probably be what my my piss looked like in that in that water bottle you know and so you know i just i disposed of it afterwards um you know so yeah that that took care of that situation and yeah i don't know why i'm talking about this I guess it was just like, uh, I don't know, just like a new experience, you know? So, um, yeah. I bet you didn't expect any of this when you uh, first opened this podcast. Maybe you, maybe you saw this episode, you said, oh my god, Albert Orange, he uh, uploaded... Uh, a new episode of his podcast. Um, you know, I I can't wait to hear it. It's always been um, my my uh, routine to to listen to this guy. You know, he makes me laugh all the time. He he provides insightful commentary about the world and society and culture and just just regular life. You know, and I, I can't wait li- to listen to this. And then, you know, you open this and, you know, you listen all the way through and you're just horrified at the end. And, you know, that's not really my intention to do that, to horrify people. But, I mean, I don't know anything else. I don't know any other way. Okay? So what if I talk about football then transition into, you know, not wanting to, you know, um, tap that transgender A, you know, and then from that into more football, and then from that into, you know, pissing in a water bottle, like, so what if I do that, like, it's my show, it's my podcast, and I, I, I as I said, you know, Um, anything, anything goes on this podcast, anything goes. So my word is, is final here. Okay. And that's just, that's just, that's just the deal that you're going to have to make with me. Okay. And everything in this podcast is, is a true representation of, of what it's like when I have a conversation with myself, you know? And I hope you know that. And I don't expect you to be, to ever be okay with that. I'm just asking for a little understanding. You know, I'm human too, okay? And and pissing in a water bottle was not an experience that I had at all in my human life until today and I know that it's been an experience for others and so I I'm not proud of it but I I feel a little comforted by the fact that you know I'm not the first guy to to ever piss in a bottle you know and I'm just I'm seeking a little understanding from you because if you ever 
piss in a water bottle. I might have brought back a, you know, not not the best memory, but you know, at least you have something to relate to, and that's that's I think that's a wonderful way of looking at it. You know, same with the transgender thing. You know, like I I know there's a lot of people out there who feel the same way who who don't want to. You know, hook up with a, a transgender woman, you know, and uh, they don't they're not they don't hate transgender people. But, you know, they uh, they just they're not attracted to them like that, you know. And so now I've given you something to relate to, OK, by embarrassing myself and digging myself in a hole so deep that I just I completely gave up trying you know so i don't know i think i'm just gonna end this here okay i'm gonna get my language list i'm gonna take off my glove off my hand okay and i'm just gonna get the language list and sign off okay and you know what you don't you don't have to like this podcast but I want you to understand what I'm trying to do here, which is to horrify, but tastefully, okay? So, here we go, man. Um, also, I, I failed to mention this, but um, uh, because there wasn't any running water at my house, I had to get creative on how to clean my hands and aside from using water from from plastic bottles from Costco aside from using those um i i got a disinfecting wipe you know you know like those that uh you would use to clean your um your your kitchen counter or you know laptop or phone and i used those on my hands it was bleach free that's what it said on the on the on the you know container it said bleach free so i decided that that was just enough for me to use on my hands so um and it said disinfecting wipe. You know, it was that generic, you know, great value Walmart disinfecting wipes. So if it disinfects, then, you know, that cleans my hand of all bacteria, of all germs. So if it disinfects, then it cleans. And if there's no bleach, you know, nothing obvious to damage my skin then you know what it's good enough for me combine that with a little bit of water you know from a plastic bottle then uh, you know it'll be good it will be fine but now as a consequence of that my hands are very dry uh they're very coarse at least the the top of my hand is, you know, like the, like, uh, like the opposite side of the palm, you know, the inner palm, uh, the outside of my hand is, is very dry and it looks like, it just, it looks like sandpaper almost like you could, like you could polish a piece of, you know, wood with my hand right now, you know, that's, that's what you would, be able to do with this it's so dry now and uh i probably desperately need lotion and i probably desperately need to just end this podcast here so that's what i'm gonna do here i hope this episode of the bell the before podcast with albert orange hosted by yours truly albert orange was at least somewhat entertaining you know, um, I hope you were entertained by what I said. If not, how, uh, you know, embarrassed 
uh, or how embarrassing I made myself, you know. Um, I hope you were entertained somehow. So that's that's uh, what I leave you with. It's been episode 48, and it's been a pleasure talking with you. Um, it will be it will be Christmas Eve by the time this comes out. No, it, it'll be it'll be December 23rd when I release this, at least in my time zone. I don't know. You might be listening to this on Christmas Eve. Um, I don't expect you to. I expect you to actually just um, listen in, listen to this with your family. Actually, you know, just show this to your grandma, your dog, your dad. Show this to him, her, it, and you know, just enjoy, enjoy, uh, enjoy me embarrassing myself, you know, and then that's how you can have a Merry Christmas, okay? So, uh, as the, uh, hold on, yeah, let me, let me properly sign off here, all right? Um, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you next week um, in episode 49, uh, which will be released in, uh, you know, on Wednesday. Well, Tuesday, technically, on my time zone, but um, it will be released next week. Um, so, yeah, look out for that. And uh, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, all of you, every single one of you. Merry Christmas to the world. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Nikolaus Tag. And uh, yeah, enjoy the holidays, everyone. And uh, until next time, as the Lithuanians say, Atsi Prasau. Atsi Prasau. Atsi Prasau.